now uh, here you can see we have uh, three data frames okay together uh, now you can see we have three data frames together one is like our books and one is like our users and one is our rating information okay so here uh, what I need to do okay so if I show you the ratings uh, if I show you the ratings uh, with respect to user ID uh, let's do the value counts so see <laughs> this is uh, this is uh, you can say some kinds of interesting thing you can like see so if I perform the you can say uh value counts okay on top of this uh, ratings with respect to the user id so you can see this user okay like this user id like uh, this is the user id of this person so this person has rated uh, <laughs> how this many of the books okay uh so you can see he or she just you can say one person and he or she just rated that that many of the book okay and if you see all this you can say 11 uh, lakh and 49 uh, 49,700 and you can say uh, 79 okay this many of the users like rated that many of you can say uh, books okay so this is really very you can say interesting things because I I don't think like he he sleeps okay because he like you can say uh, try he just try to always read the books okay uh, this kind of bookish person <laughs> you can say so so this is how we or you can say rating information now here uh, you can see some of the users okay has rated just one books here okay uh, these users like us okay i don't like reading books uh, so this user is also similar to me uh, uh, because when i try to read books i get sleep at the time and what do you what and what do you feel uh, just tell me also okay uh, so this uh, so there would be some you can say uh, less ratings okay uh, i don't need that you can see information because i just want to you can say uh, keep as much as information I, uh, you can say as i can uh, you can say in our analysis okay i don't need this unnecessary information because this one users okay this one rating can't help me in our uh, increasing the accuracy okay so that's why what i will do here i will just filtering out those users okay uh, who has rated more than 200 books okay uh, from this entire you can say uh, users okay so if i show you the users okay users counts so ratings and here i'll pass my user id and if i show you the unique and the chip so you can see uh that's my that many of users okay uh have uh, has have in this uh, data frame and i don't need all the you can say users uh, because they haven't rated okay uh, more than uh, 200 of books okay there would be some of the users they have just only rated one or two or three or four books okay like us so i don't need that so i will just get rid of those users okay uh, who hasn't you can say rated uh, more than 200 books okay so for that what can i do uh, i will just define you can say let's uh, uh, I'll take a variable let's X okay now in the X itself I will just filtering out uh, from the ratings uh, I will filtering out this users ID so those users I, I'm gonna you can say take who has rated more than 200 books okay so for that I will do just uh, value counts value counts yep value counts and uh, if i uh, perform this you can say getter than 200 and if i run that and if i show you the x right now so see these are the users okay who has uh, you can say only rated more than uh, 200 of books okay now let's check how how many of the users uh, you can say are there so for that what i will do i will just put it in the x and if i show you the shape so see uh, among uh, almost you can say 10 lakh users okay there are only you can say uh, 899 users who has rated more than 200 of books okay and <laughs> and you can say and all the users like us <laughs> who just try to you can say uh, open any kinds of books okay and 
and try to rate it like <laughs> in in their own way okay like what we do usually when we just uh, try to read uh, rate a book or you can say read a book so so this is like you can say if, uh, uh, you can say so this is like you can say uh, I have figured out the information uh, now what I'm going to do I will just figure out uh, those users you can say index ID okay so for that what I what I can do I will create a variable called y and if I pass it like that in the x itself and if I do the index here so and now if I show you the index so see th this is the index okay uh, this this is the index of the users uh, in the data set okay now by using that index I will be you can say filtering out those users so what I can do right now so I will just do write ratings and in the ratings itself I will pass again the ratings and here I just want to apply it on user ID and I think you know the is in okay is in so this is you can say kinds of function is in and is in if you pass the y uh, like the index okay index of the users so it will try to figure out those users you can say the uh, uh, indexes okay uh, who has you can say Re, uh, who has you can say rated more than 200 of books okay as of now so if I hit enter so see these are the sub uh, these are the users okay so these are the users uh, who has rated more than uh, 200 of books here okay now let me uh, store it in a variable called ratings uh, now if I show you the ratings dot head so see uh, this is the information I have okay after filtering out uh, now if I show you the rating shapes so see uh, uh, among almost you can say 10 lakh so you can say among 10 lakh we have you can say 5 lakh and 20, uh, 26 thousand users okay information are there uh, now uh, I will be you can say merging uh, merging this you can say ratings okay uh, to our books because I have the ratings okay I have the ratings right right now uh, with the with the users and now I just want to figure out okay those books okay which are you can say related to this ratings okay because user this is the user id and this is the ratings and i want to figure out okay which books he has rated like 10 okay so i just want to you can say filter out those books okay who has you can uh, the, the book has you can say uh, rated uh, more than uh, 200 times okay so for that what i can do uh, i will just perform a merge operation here so ratings and rating if i write merge and now let's pass our books and on which you can say columns i want to merge it so i have to mention that so if you see the books here so let me show you uh, books and if i show you the head so you can see isbn okay and in the rating itself here you can also find the isbn so these are some you can say uh, same columns so I, I i will you can say use that columns okay uh, for merging our operation so i will just mention is uh, bn so if i do that and now you can say i will restore it in a variable called rating with books rating with books and now if i hit enter and if i show you the ratings with books our new data frame so see uh these are the books okay uh who uh, like uh which got you can say more than um, 200 times uh, you can say ratings okay so I have filtered out and now if I show you the shape of this data frame shape so you can see almost you can say uh, 4 lakh okay 78,000 uh because there are you can say some missing value uh, i guess okay there there were some missing value so that's that's why like uh, uh that that got you can say get rid of okay so now you have that many of you can say information so guys uh, i have this information right now now what i will do okay i will just perform a group by operation on top of our titles and rating column and i'll be seeing okay uh, like uh, which books got like uh, how many times of rating okay so for that uh, what i will do i will just write you can say uh, let's uh, take a variable first of all uh, call it number rating 
and if I pass our rating with book here and let's perform the group by I think you know the group by operation how it like does let's uh, perform a title so let's define our ratings and if I perform let's say counts here and reset index uh, now if I hit enter okay so it is giving me some errors uh, because of okay here I have mentioned ratings it should be rating uh, now if I show you the num rating uh, dot hit so see now it is showing okay uh, like how many times okay like uh, like how many ratings okay this book has got okay uh, because I had you can say those information related to you can say uh, more than 200 times okay uh, uh, the book was you can say uh, got rating but now I have the information like uh, which specific book okay what are like which are the specific book uh, got how uh, how many ratings okay now I have this information uh, why I have calculated that uh, because of I just want to you can say uh, take okay those books which got you can say more than uh, 50 ratings okay because you can see some of the books has got just one time one ratings okay if I take that okay so it would be unbalanced okay because uh, one is like it is not a good information okay if this book has if this book has got just one ratings so i cannot say it is a we can say good information okay uh, carrying on uh, because if it got you can say more than 50 ratings uh, ratings at least so i can consider it's a good you can say book and people has you can say uh, people have you can say rated th that books okay so i can use that information of uh, to uh, to this our collab uh, collaborative filtering based you can say recommender system okay so here uh, first of all let me uh, First of all, uh, let me change this title, okay, uh, ratings to number of ratings, uh, so for that what I will do, uh, I will just call it and do rename and uh, I have to mention the columns, uh, similar wise like previously how we had done that and here I have to mention our ratings, okay, let me, yeah, ratings and uh, ratings too i want to keep it as you can say number of ratings uh, okay now i have to perform the in place equal to true also because i want to do it permanently uh, now if i hit enter and if i show you my number of ratings right now uh, dot hit so you can see uh, the okay it hasn't changed yet okay so guys uh, uh now it is working okay uh, so we have uh, changed it okay uh, to this uh, uh, ratings to number of ratings okay now I have all the ratings uh, like uh, a particular book has got now what I'm gonna do uh, I'm going to merge this data set okay uh, with ours you can say rating with books okay uh, because that was how can say our uh, first data frame okay we have uh, generated now I'll be merging so merge and here I have to pass our number of ratings and on which columns I want to merge, merge because if you see here is also title and if I show you my rating with books here uh, dot hate so you can see uh, title should be also here okay so that's why I want to merge it on title so I have to mention the title here mm, on uh, ti title oops title okay now i think it's good uh now if i hit enter and if i sh okay now you can see uh let me store it in a variable of called final final underscore rating and if i show you right now the head of that uh, let me take just two items okay now if i show you see uh, this number of ratings has been added okay uh, we have merged that now 
what I need to do okay because I have my final ratings okay uh, final data frame okay and this data uh, data frame contains you can say uh, these are the information okay uh, now what I need to do I need to filter out those you can say uh, books okay like which has got you can say more than 50 uh, you can say uh, more than 50 ratings okay uh, so that's how like we'll be filtering out so for that what i, I will do uh, first of all let me show you this final uh, rating shape okay mm, how many data uh, like information we have so you can you can say i have you can say 4 lakh 78 thousand information uh, right now and after filtering we'll be like see uh, how many information are left okay so what i can do i will just you can say do finals and in the finals itself i will all, uh, again perform the final rating and here i just want to perform on that our number of ratings and here i will be just filtering out more than 50 ratings okay uh, suppose what are the books like got more than 50 ratings i will be just uh, you can say filtering out and now if i show you so see these are the books okay uh, which has got you can say more than uh, f uh, f uh, 50 ratings so let me show you uh, so let me store it in a same variable uh, same variable and now if i show you this final rating dot height now you can see uh, see <laughs> uh, this is the book it is got you can say uh, more than 50 you can say ratings like 82 82 82 82 okay so these are some books like uh, it just got more than 50 uh, you can say okay uh, let me show you the samples Mm, samples okay I think sample mm. uh, let's let me show you 10 sample and if I show you see mm, these are some ratings okay more than 50 so I think you got the idea of what I'm trying to do here so you can say this is my final data set okay uh, final data frame but uh, now if i show you the you can say final uh, ratings shape right now so see <laughs> this is the information i have but previously i have you can say almost uh, almost you can say 4 lakh but now i have you can say 61000 okay now you can say those books were uh, not carrying the relevant information okay so i have uh, get you can say rid of that okay uh so this is our final ratings okay now uh here you will be find some of the duplicates column okay now duplicates information would be there so i have to also get rid of that so for that i will be writing final ratings and drop duplicates and uh, here uh, you'll be find most of the duplicates like in our you can say titles uh, how i got to know because I have done the analysis previously so I know what are the columns you can say containing uh, uh, you can say duplicate column uh, duplicate value okay this title and also uh, this user ID okay these are the some columns it is containing the same you can see information uh, so that's why I'll be getting rid of that yeah now I have to do the in place operation here in place equal to true uh, now if I hit enter and if I show you the final shape so see uh, <laughs> there where you can say some uh, information which was you can say uh, duplicate value okay so I have done that but now I have you can say our uh, final data frame which is you can say this uh, final ratings uh, so this is the final ratings i have uh, now what i need to do okay uh, now i will be up you can say i'll be performing the pirate table okay pirate table here so what this pirate table will do okay let me uh, okay let me discuss about that